APEC takes over San Francisco, and that means world leaders are in town for high profile meetings and major street closures. Plus, rain is in the forecast. I'm Andrea Sistio. Let's get you synced in. Some leaders are already here in the Bay Area at the finance minister's meeting Monday morning. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen mentioned in her opening remarks that APEC members represent some of the fastest growing and most dynamic economies in the world. We need to put ourselves on a sustainable growth path, one where we safeguard our planet while providing our economies with the clean energy they need to grow. President Biden is expected to arrive on Wednesday. He'll be meeting with the Chinese president. Street closures are already in place around the Moscone Center and Knob Hill as large protests and demonstrations are expected later this week. We have complete coverage on the summit online at NBCBayArea.com. Did you see this aerial performance on Monday? The dance troupe Bandaloop sent performers rappelling down the Transamerica Pyramid. Caused a lot of confusion, some thinking it was some type of protest. Well, it wasn't. The performance was sanctioned by the city and the building. The SF Police Department even wrote on social media, enjoy the show. And get your umbrella and boots ready. We are tracking rain heading to the Bay Area. Meteorologist Carrie Hall has your wet work week forecast with when the storm arrives. We have so much going on around the Bay Area, and it seems like the weather wants to get in on that action as well. We're going to see things changing over the next few days with more clouds and some off and on rain starting on Tuesday with the North Bay getting in on the highest chance of getting more measurable rain. The rest of the Bay Area, it looks like it does become more widespread on Wednesday. And as we go into the rest of the week, just periods of showers with some breaks in between, but it may also linger into early Saturday before all of the wet weather completely leaves the Bay Area and take a look at our inland temperatures. We're going to see our highs reaching into the upper 60s and low 70s, while San Francisco will also see temperatures in the mid 60s and not much of a change as we go throughout the week. But we may at times have some gusty winds and we're also concerned about the potential of some brief flooding. We'll be tracking all of the latest for you right here on social media as well as NBCBayArea.com. That's it for us today. We'll see you again tomorrow with another episode. Take care.